Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> this hit? It'll make a fantastic movie. Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? My kind sir. The lowest common denominator. How many times have you played a game and thought, wouldn't it be fun to see this game's world in a zombie apocalypse? Well, in 2010, Rockstar did just that when they released the standalone expansion for Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. At the time of release, it was seen as one of the best expansions ever made. Does it still hold up? Is it still a great expansion? Let's talk about it. Rockstar found a match in the Red Dead Redemption universe for their long-standing aim to create a zombie game. In lieu of making a new intellectual property for such a game, Rockstar instead wanted players to see how a zombie outbreak affected a world already familiar to them. Rockstar thought this would make the zombie trope more interesting. The team used an analogy of a 1970s film set to explain their ambitions, that Unted Nightmare in the Red Dead Redemption universe would feel like its characters filming a serious revisionist western by day and a somewhat insane horror movie with the same cast and set by night. Unted Nightmare received great reviews on release. IGN gave it a 10 out of 10, calling it a masterpiece, and it received similar praise by other outlets. It's been 11 years since Undead Nightmare was released, and it's also the last time Rockstar had any post-launch single-player DLC, solely focusing on their game's multiplayer components in all their future games. All two of them. But if this is going to be their last time supporting their game's single-player post-launch, what an expansion to go out on. Undead Nightmare, in my opinion, is one of the best expansions ever made and would easily go down as one of the greatest zombie games ever made. Could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. Right from the opening of the game, it sets an amazing dark horror, but fun and campy mood. Well, that old man can take care of himself. And what's great is that this still very much feels like a Red Dead Redemption game. I love seeing John and his family at the beginning. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. After playing Red Dead 2 and the original, I love seeing these characters actually having some good times. leaves him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting. But the good times don't last long. <laughs> Uncle, you dumb son of a bitch, stop! Jack and Abigail both get bitten and turn into zombies. John ties them up. <laughs> Jack, be kind to your mother. <laughs> Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of them, stop biting chunks out of people. And John has to leave town to figure out what happened. The adventure will take John all the way through New Austin and down through Mexico. Now the story doesn't actually take very long to complete if you are just going from story mission to story mission. But this game does offer a lot of great story content outside of the main story. You'll be able to come across a lot of familiar characters from the main game and see how they're getting along in the apocalypse. Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. As the story goes along, John will travel all across the map in search of a reason why all this started and how to stop it. This whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? Oh, I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Gameplay is just like in the base game, but instead of getting in shootouts and taking cover, fighting off bandits, you'll be facing hordes of the undead. And they do change up the gameplay a bit. Instead of taking cover, you'll probably want to be moving a lot more. If you stop for too long, the zombies quickly overwhelm you. So how do you take care of the undead? You could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool! The safest place to take zombies out safely is to get up on a roof with the other survivors and try to take them out from afar. But that's not as fun as running around on the ground trying to avoid them and take them out. As you enter new areas, you'll come across towns that are under attack by the undead. 
You'll need to kill all the zombies in the town to make it safe again. Once it is safe, you'll have a place where you can stay and rest, save your game, change outfits, and this is also where you can fast travel. Every town that you save will be open to fast travel, so if you don't want to ride through the game's map going back and forth, then this does come in handy and is appreciated. After you save a town for the first time, you'll often get a new weapon, and all ammo chests will be shown on the map. That's another thing. Ammo. It's harder to come by in this game. It's no survival horror game or anything like that. There is still plenty of ammo, and I was never in fear of actually running out, but I did run out of ammo on a few of my favorite guns. I do think it's a fun addition though. Making the ammo more scarce really makes the world feel more fleshed out. As time passes in the game, you'll get notified that zombies are attacking a town that you previously saved, and they need help to repel the zombie attack. And if you never go, eventually the town will be overrun with zombies and there won't be any survivors left. You'll also unlock a lot of fun Undead Nightmare specific weapons, my personal favorite being the Holy Water and the Undead Bait. And there's treasure maps that you can find. And I was very proud of myself for being able to find all the hidden treasure without the aid of a guide. I've played Red Dead Redemption more times than I care to admit, so I recognized every landmark that they showed. And the gameplay still holds up, it still feels great to play. Controlling John is easy and intuitive, shooting feels great, and taking out a bunch of zombies using Deadeye always feels good. Rest everlasting torn. The game uses the same map from the original game, but it has this amazing horror atmosphere now. Everything is darker and spookier, and I love it. The graphics are still so good. Some of the textures are showing their age a bit, but overall the game still looks amazing. The music for this expansion is so much fun. It, it captures this sort of camp horror aesthetic so well, and at times it sounds genuinely creepy. Top notch job on the music. And all the sounds are again great, all the weapons sound good, and the zombies sound terrifying. Their scream when they are running at you is great. <laughs> Now, do you guys remember back in the days of San Andreas? There was a rumor going around my school that in the woods you could find Bigfoot. My friend and I would spend hours combing the forest, looking and looking, and it wasn't until Undead Nightmare that we could finally find the murderous Sasquatch. The damn Sasquatch! The filthy thing was gonna eat my dog when this girl hollered out, and I shot the thing right through the heart. Oh, my God! Uh, potential spoilers for a side mission. It is genuinely worth playing through if you don't know what happens. If you've played this, you know that it's probably one of the saddest things that's ever been in a game. I felt so awful after this mission. <laughs> Shoot me, human! Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? We eat berries! And mushrooms, you fool! Maniacs been murdering us. The last of my kind. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. I couldn't decide if I should end his pain or not. It's such a gut-wrenching moment, and it's played seriously, and whoever did the voice for Sasquatch did great. Man, it's making me sad just thinking about it. As you are exploring the world, you'll come across some random people that might need your help. Un momento. I'm feeling very strange. I need a medical. And that could be finding out some zombies, getting a ride back to town, or some guys are just sitting by the fire having a bite to eat. <laughs> Instead of bounties, Undead Nightmare has lost souls. These are similar to bounties, but instead you'll be going out to try and find survivors of loved ones that are still out there somewhere and you want to try to bring them back safely. <laughs> But there's more than just the undead out in the wild. You may come across some mythical creatures and try your luck at taming them. If you complete all the hunting challenges, you can hunt down the elusive chupacabra, 
I'll be honest though, I couldn't make it past killing undead bears, wolves, and cougars with a torch. Damn you, I will not be ignored! Get back in here! Undead Nightmare is an absolutely amazing game, worthy of all of its praise. It was so good that it's left us fans almost begging Rockstar for an Undead Nightmare expansion for Red Dead Redemption 2. Can you imagine how great that could be? But we will probably never get it, and this will probably be the best we ever get. And you know what? It's pretty great. If you haven't played this, you owe it to yourself to play it. And if you have played it before, it's definitely worth revisiting, especially for the Halloween season. This game is probably going to be a new yearly tradition for me to play in October. If you've played it, let me know what you thought, 